Hey everybody, my name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be going over a bunch of different beach design ideas. I've had a couple requests for this video, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So here we are on one of my very first islands, Cozywood, and I will leave the dream address in the description if you'd like to visit the island, but I wanted to show you all my beach and some of my other beaches on this island because I was really, really proud of this island. And so here we kind of just have like a little picnic area. I tried to stay within like the pink and red color palette, and so I used a lot of flowers a lot of like dropped items alongside the waterfront and then i just have that little table in the background there with the kids tent and then over here i kind of transition more to like the darker red and hot pink color palette and i have the rose bed and the mush parasol and a couple of the more like flowery cosmos shower in the background and so one tip i have for doing beaches is you can definitely pick a color scheme color palette that you want to go with and then look in your storage and see what items you have that will fit within that color scheme and then also flowers are a big favor of mine to use on beaches you can use planted just like stems or full like fully blossom flowers as well um, but over here we have a little spa area i just laid down this kind of like wooden plank code underneath and then i kind of have a continuation of that spot over on the beach rocks over here and then another thing i just wanted to suggest is try to think outside the box a little bit as you can see i have this dresser over here that's something that you wouldn't normally see outside but definitely experiment and play around with different items and then using a plank code like i have on the beach all throughout this area is another tip that i have it just kind of helps with the direction and flow of your beach but i've kind of just continued this design all throughout this left what is this left right hand side of my beach over here um, and then back here we just have a little picnic area with a campfire and then the kids tent in the background and then I have a bunch of little like accessories like the bears the puppy plushie the hat and then if we come over to the left side of my island I have a little pottery making area over here so I have kind of the kilns in the background the different pottery items the mush stools and cushions so this is good for like a smaller area on your beach but let's go ahead and take a look at the next area so then if we head over this way, I made a little like dinner party on the beach. I used a couple different tables, some different seating items, and then the log stakes and the pots kind of along the waterfront just to break up the area a bit. And then I just have like a little farm area over here. And as we continue on to the left side over here, I have a little sushi bar. So I have a couple of the placed fish. I think that's like the mahi mahi or something in the background there. And then I just used some stalls and a couple of the fishing tourney items and then some tables. So it gives it more of a realistic restaurant feel. I also just want to note that I'm going to be featuring a bunch of different themes throughout this beach design idea video. So if you have a different theme, I hope that you can find an idea within this video that can help fit that theme. But as we continue on over here, I have a little picnic area with a bunch of different customized zen cushions. I just have the log benches in the center there as the table. And then I've kind of just continued on the same um, like picnic seating area behind it. And then I have a little strawberry farm right here. I loved making this. And then we have a little painting area. And then here I just made like a little sewing area. And then I'm gonna just say hi to my rep really quickly also follow me on instagram if you're not already but we have a continuation of that sewing area on this beach rock over here and then i have a little farm area over here using some of the fruit hats and then some of the barbed wire fencing as well and then i just want to show you all what i did with this area in the back here so i made a little birthday party back here i used the same kind of like myth mismatched furniture and tables i just was kind of vibing with that style at this time but as you can see i have the happy birthday sign as well and then i kind of just continued this design all the way in the back throughout um, the end of this beach onto these beach rocks over here so these are all of the designs that i have made now let's go ahead and take a look at some other creators so this is made by storybrook underscore acnh on instagram we have toured her winter slash 
Grinch Island before, but I saw this picture on Instagram and I knew it was perfect for this video. I love the rosebuds, the purple ones in the center. I love how she used the castle wall items and then looks like she has simple panels customized in that stained glass in the background and then that purple flower rose path on the beach and then the blue glowing moss items it just looks so so good and i love the little wheat field that she has in between the rosebud and the flowers so i wanted to share this build and also share a couple of her other builds on this island if you're interested in seeing more of her builds definitely follow her and all the other creators on social media i will have that all linked below but here's another section of her beach so she's used the volcanoes the giant vines the wheat fields and the glowing moss planted on the beach and i really really love how creative and different this design is and i love how the yellow of the flowers and the glowing moss contrast nicely with the purple and blue flowers but then over here we have her peninsula so i just thought this was really really cute how she has the um little i can't remember what they're called the little animal items and then she has the grass standee in front of it i just thought that was really really adorable I will be featuring one other build by Melanie on this video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. For now, let's go ahead and transition to Lena's Island, aka acnh.sulky on Instagram. So I really love this little build right here. I thought it was really cute. It gives me more like a realistic beach vibe. I love how she has the little sandals off to the left and I love how she has the little customized cushion as well and then the switch case and the switch light I just thought this was really really cute and then she also has a little spa area right here with the customized beach towel and also just looking at her builds I it gives me so much nostalgia of like the earlier days of Animal Crossing and it's pretty inspiring and speaking of inspiring look at this area right here you guys I love this when I saw lena build this i think she either we were either texting about it or i just saw her post it and i was just in awe of it i love how she has the planted weeds on the beach the seaweed i love how she has the cooler and then the cart banner in the background and then she has the little diving suit on the beach rocks back there and then the fishing tourney items it just is again super realistic and just I, I love it. This is something you can probably fit onto any type of island, no matter what your theme is. And I just love how it's like so interactive and it really just gives me like actual like beach vibes. Like that's a place where I would go in real life and I'm obsessed with it. And now I want to show you her museum. So I wanted to feature this build because I feel like a lot of people don't think to put their museum or shops on the beach. And I really love the color coordination here. She has the red flowers that go nicely with the red design on the museum itself. And then she has this little... Um, like writing area right here and then some of the art as well and the scattered papers and then the pirate items and red's art i just think overall this is a really really beautiful design it's also helpful to kind of show how some of the buildings can look on your beaches and if you can fit one of the bigger buildings like the museum on a beach it gives you a lot more room to work with on your island so i really really love that and just her combination of custom designs as well works so so perfectly and i wanted to feature one other build of lena's in the back section of her island so back here she has a cute little laundry area so i love how she has the little hammocks in front here and and then all of the laundry items in the back and the place socks and again the clotheslines everything just feels super realistic and I love how she's staying within that like green kind of color scheme and she even has a little buttons on the rocks as well that custom design I just think overall this is a really really gorgeous area Lena and I actually did a little photo shoot here once so follow Lena on Instagram she has some incredible work and now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more designs that I have for you all. So here we are on a, another creator's island. Her name is Lena as well, aka Springleaf on Twitter. I wanted to feature her builds because she has these beautiful 
little delicate smaller areas on her beaches and i think this just goes to show you don't need to go overboard with your beaches you can just do some light decorating with the flowers and then just lay down a blanket coat and even with this cute little area right here she just has a blanket coat a little tea kettle and a book and then one piece of the country fencing surrounded by the flowers and coconut trees i just think this is so so beautiful okay so this is the next island we have created by vania bean so i love this build right here i love the little baby coconut tree and how she has the iron fencing and the beach rocks and then as we head to the left over here i wanted to show you guys this area as well because she has these wheat fields placed on each side of her beach and it kind of carves out a path in the middle and i love how she has the log stakes and the weeds and the flowers kind of just to give this area a little bit of variety i just think this is so so creative and i've never seen a path like carved out or made by the wheat field item before and then as we come down here we have her peninsula and i just have to say the pink and blues look so so good together it is just this color combination is perfect and i wanted to say thank you for letting me include this in my video i went and visited her yesterday and she's so so kind she gave me the little foxtail item that i'm holding as well um so i really really love this build it's really good for like an elegant core island or maybe like a little bit of a fairy core island as well so i just think this is really really pretty and a really good way to decorate your peninsula and so now let's go ahead and we are going to move to the last build of this video so here we are back on storybrook underscore acnh island and i just wanted to showcase this build because i love how she's using the pond pathing on the beach i use that path on tea light but i never thought to use it on the beach and i really really love that i love how she has the inflatable bird item like the little swans as well and the glowing moss ponds too and all of the like glowing moss balloons as well kind of like filling in the rest of this area around here so i hope you all were able to get some beach design inspiration from this video definitely go and check out all of the amazing creators that were featured in this video i will have their social media linked in the description below um, leave me a comment if you have any other ideas for videos that you would like to see but other than that i just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you in the next one bye